Hey everybody, Rune the Gaming Dad from the Arc Trade Federation, and today we're on Arc Survival Ascended, and we're going to show you how to automate your greenhouse using the new Survivor Mate, your new buddy here. It's really awesome. It's, a, in my opinion, a pretty steep learning curve with trying to figure out how to use this thing. Um, in the description, I'm going to leave a link to the original Survivor Mate guide that I did. If you want to learn a little bit more about it beforehand, and then come back to this video. I suggest that, but we'll try to do this to where you may not have to. But the link for that video will be in the description as well. Also in the description, I've got refrigerators set up for these different crops. If you want to know how to make these paintings happen, the link to that video will be in the description as well. You can see I've got some the paintings all around here. That, that link's in the description as well. If you want to learn how to do it, it's really not that hard. It just takes a little bit of time to learn, and once you do, you're done. Okay, so we've got our greenhouse here, and I haven't set the whole thing up. All I did was put all the crops, so the citronal, sav root, long grass, and rock carrot, all here, and they're all growing. So how do we get this guy to not only put the crops when they're ready into the fridge but also put fertilizer in, fertilizer in there and continue to make sure that these things are growing forever so here's how you do it so we've got our dung beetles here and they are making fertilizer for us as they go we're just gonna put up a vault I'm gonna stick it right here and I've got a bunch of fertilizer in my inventory and we're gonna transfer that to the vault and then we're going to click down here where it says enable automated withdrawal because we want the survivor mate to grab this. The only thing that I found you can't do is actually pull stuff from pull fertilizer from the dung beetle. Unfortunately, this is the only thing you're going to have to do. This is the, on, the only time you're going to have to do anything when it comes to crop plots once you set this up. So we're just going to take the fertilizer out of this guy and put it in the vault. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go to each, we're going to take one fertilizer out. Sorry, we need one fertilizer in here. We're going to go into each of these crop plots, and we're going to do enable automated withdrawal. We're going to right click on the fertilizer and put add as input. Now, this tells you how many fertilizer you want in this crop plot at any given time. So right now, you can tell that it's growing already. We're going to have one more slot for citronal, and then it gives us five more slots for fertilizer. So we're going to say we want five stacks in this at all times. Five stacks of fertilizer at all times. And then we just repeat the process for each one. We already have it, the automated withdrawal set up here. And we want five stacks there. We want... Add, add as input remote, which means you could actually do it here if you wanted. Add as input five stacks because there's already fertilizer in there. Or you can do it remotely from your inventory, whichever you prefer. And we're going to go into the last crop plot here. And I'll do add as input remote five stacks. So when we turn on the, the butler mode of survivor mate, what we want them to do is go in here because we've got automated withdrawal set up and take any fertilizer here that's in here and make sure there's five stacks in there now the second piece because we want to do it all at once before we activate this guy we want to make sure that he's putting all the the actual crops in the fridge so we're going to take this we're going to do add as input and this thing can hold 80 stacks so what we want survivor mate to do is put long grass in here until it gets to 80 stacks because that's as full as it can be and there's 80 and then we just repeat the process for all of these. Now, this could, this is obviously going to work for every single one of the crops, berries, the whole bit. So, again, it takes time to kind of set it all up. But once you set it up, you don't have to touch a crop plot again. And that's really awesome when it comes to making veggie cakes for, for theories, for boss fights, Doing, doing dyes, things like that. Having all this stuff at the ready and not having to waste time. That's one of the beauties of the new Survivor Mate. And we're going to hit Automated Withdrawal on all these two because we want to be able to pull these resources out automatically if we need to. All right, so we've got our refrigerator set up for 80 stacks. We've got our 
vault set up to be uh, withdrawn from, and we know exactly how many that's going to be in each crop plot. We're going to go into our survivor mate and turn him into butler mode and watch what happens. Off he goes into the vault to grab the fertilizer. And I can go into his inventory. You can see he's grabbing it. I don't have this set as an input for him. We just said, hey, this is what we want done around the base. Now, off he goes to the crop plots. And in my testing, I believe he starts at the bottom. He sure does. There's your five fertilizer in that crop plot. And it's going to get done with that one and instantly move on to the next one. And there you go. There's five fertilizer in there. And it's just going to keep rinsing and repeating the process. So it, it tends to go through its process because it also we want to take some of those re, uh, resources out and put them in the fridge. But you can see it's going through its fertilizer piece first. It's getting, I guess, the, this one done as well. And it'll have one more shot to the top one. And this could go on. There you go. There's your five. And oddly enough, it's actually pulled the resources while we did it. So it actually did a twofer. I thought it was going to just do them separately, but it's actually done a twofer. It's pulled the resources at the same time. And now the survivor mate knows, hey, i got to put this stuff away. So now it's going to start putting it in each fridge based on where we want it to go. Now, if you had a full greenhouse, this process is probably going to take a minute. You know, if you like having a lot of crops, this this is going to take a minute because and you're going to need a lot of fertilizer. Again, the only thing I found that you actually physically have to do is make sure that the fertilizer is in a vault, and then you're good to go. I put some space in between here because the survivor mate from time to time gets a little squirrely and tends to run in circles. So it seems as though the more room you give them, the better it is. But you could do your berries here, um, narco berries, stem berries, the whole bit. You can just do your whole greenhouse set up and this guy will just put it all where it needs to be and now he's putting away i believe the last of the crops in the fridge he's done everything he needs to do and now he's just going to go sit and wait so what's going to happen is one of those fertilizers is going to get used and it very well could have happened already Nope, more stuff has grown. I have like a super seed put in here where it's growing fast. So this stuff's already started to grow again. Again, in on official, on private servers, the crops won't grow this fast. Um, but it's constantly moving because it's saying, hey, I, I got more stuff I got to put away. So a really great addition for people that like to have a nice greenhouse, OCD friendly, and this guy will just put everything away for you. Make sure it's make sure it's fertilized. You're good to go. The survivor made for automating your greenhouse is incredible. Um, if you have any questions, so this has come up on a previous video on the survivor made guide. The link to the Discord is in the description for you. Please join us free. If you have any questions, feel free to fire away. Also, if you have a question, please leave it in the comments. I'm happy to answer any questions you have because again, the learning curve in this thing can be a little much but once you get it it's pretty easy so just wanted to say thanks for watching if you found the video helpful please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel we greatly appreciate it and we'll see you all on the next video